Hey there everyone, today we will learn about how we can build a GraphQL React app using Apollo Client. So basically, we are going to build this app that uses a public GraphQL API to fetch data related to that specific country. This is the GraphQL API that we are going to use for this video. So I'll just give you a quick overview of what we will need in the code. There are going to be two components. The first is the country list component on this page. And the second is when we click on this click for more information button, this will take us to another link where you are going to have data related to that particular country. This is the second component. Okay, so basically we will need two components. The first one being the list of all the countries and the second one being detail of that particular country. So let's start by writing the code in our React application. Here in the Visual Studio code, I have just opened my basic React app, which I have just created. And in this, I have opened my terminal. And now I want to install an Apollo client package that we will need further on. So in the terminal, run the command npm i apollo slash client. Okay. And let's hit enter. And once it is done installing, open the index.js file and here start by importing Apollo provider, Apollo client in memory cache and HTTP link, which we will need further on. Okay. We are importing all of this from the Apollo slash client package that we just installed. Then we are starting by creating an in memory cache for our Apollo client. Next up, we are setting up an HTTP link to our GraphQL endpoint just like this. Now let's bring it all together by creating an instance of Apollo client. And then we also want to make a GraphQL query to fetch information about a specific country, let's say for India. So for that, we are importing GraphQL from the Apollo slash client package. And then down here, we call the GraphQL query to fetch information of the country and its code and its name. Don't forget to add the template literal symbol after GQL. And at last, we just console log the result. And now we utilize Apollo provider to envelop our entire app by providing the Apollo client instance client to all the components in the component tree via React context. So basically what we did here is we created a GraphQL query to fetch information about a specific country, let's say India, and we logged it into the console. Now let's save the file and open the terminal and in the terminal, let's run the command npm start to start the server. So now a server has started on port 3000. What we will do is let's inspect this page and check the console to see if the country has been successfully logged. Here you will find this object. When we click open, you will have this data over here in which we have this country object in which we have the code IN and the name for it to be India. Okay. So here in the console, we have this object that has country data and inside it, we have our country code and name present of the country for which we provided the country code. So now let's begin with our app.js file. And in the app.js file, I have removed all the unnecessary code that we will not be needing. Here, we start by importing GraphQL and use query hook from Apollo client library. These are the part of the Apollo client library, which are used for working with the GraphQL queries. Then we declare a GraphQL query using the GQL template literal. This query fetches the name and the code of the country with the code IN. We will execute this query using the use query hook. And then inside the app function, we use the use query hook to execute the GraphQL query query. The hook returns an object with the properties like loading and error and data. If the query is still in progress, that means it's still loading. A loading message will be displayed. If an error occurs during the query, an error message will be returned displaying the error message. 
and if the query was successful and there was no error the component will render an heading with the text country list it will also render a country list component which we will create shortly that will be responsible for displaying a list of countries so now that we are done with the app.js file code here we will save the file and now you will see here that it has compiled successfully and then here when we go back to the localhost 3000 you will have this heading country list with the horizontal line now the next thing we want to do is create a country list component so let's get started in the source directory create a folder named called components inside it create a file called countries list.jsx file and in the countries list.jsx file we start by importing necessary dependencies here we import link from the react router dom the link component is used to create navigation links in a react application with this we can navigate between different views or pages without triggering a page reload we need to install this react router dom package so in the terminal run the command npm i react router dom and after it is done installing Next, we define a GraphQL query using the GQL template literal like we did earlier. This query fetches the code and name of all the countries. And now we declare the country list functional component, inside which we have the use query hook which is used to execute the GraphQL query countries list. The hook returns an object with properties like loading error and data similar to as what we did in app.js file. If loading is true then it will display a loading message and if by any chance error occurs during the query it will display an error message and if data is present that means the query is successful it maps over to the array of countries in data.country and renders a list for each country we display a country's name with the h3 tag and a button containing a link to navigate to a detailed view of the country now that we have made the countries list component and exported it let's now import it into the app.js file so before it let's save this file and open the app.js file and here at the top import the country list component and as we scroll down you will find that i already have this country list component defined over here let's uncomment this and let's also save this file and now when we come back to the localhost 3000 on our server you will see that it has rendered nothing yet why is it so because we still haven't defined routes for different components so let's first define the routes and come back on localhost 3000 again so in the index.js file import browse router route and routes from react router dome and then we have to define different routes for different components we have created just a single component that is this country list and we have declared it in the app.js file which is the main page so down here we declare browser router component which is the top level component provided by react router and it enables client side routing this should wrap our entire application to enable routing functionality then we have declared routes component that is used to define the routes within our application and also we have the route component here this route component is defined with the exact prop path which means it will only match if the path is exactly slash the path prop specifies the url path and the element prop specifies the component that will be rendered when the path matches in this case it is going to render the app component and now let's save this file and head back to the localhost 3000 reload the page and there on the localhost 3000 you will have the country list but when we click on this button you will find that we don't get the details of that specific country yet because we are still left to create this component that provides the detail okay so let's do that right now so in the components folder create a country.jsx file inside it we start by importing necessary components and hook we import the use params hook from the react router dome library the use params hook is used to access the parameters of the current route basically in our code we will use it to get the country id from the url 
Then we call the use param hook inside the country component to get the country ID parameter from the current route. And then we define a GraphQL query using the GQL template literal as we did earlier. But here this query is also going to fetch the code name, native, flag, emoji, capital, continent name and also the currency of that particular or specific country. And now we use the use query hook to execute the GraphQL query passing the country ID parameter using the variable option. This is the same thing as to what we did earlier. Then we also check if there is no data or if the country property in the data is falsy, that is, it is not true. If true, it returns a message indicating that no data was found for that specified country ID. We then destructures the relevant properties from the country object in the fetched data. If everything was correct, it will render the details of the specific country using the properties obtained from the GraphQL API. So now that here we are done with the code for country.jsx file also, what we are going to do is let's also save this file. So now that we are done with this component too, one thing that we are left to do is define route for the country component. And now in the index.js file, import the country component at the top and then let's define its route. So down here, we define the route for the country just like this. And now as we are all done with this code, let's save this file and it has compiled successfully. And when we head back to the localhost 3000 and when we click on this button, you will find the detail for that specific country. Let's go back and check for other countries also. And if you notice that it gave here a loading message and then it provided us the detail and that's how we use graphql api with the apollo client in react so that wraps up our video i hope you learned something new today and if you did then don't forget to like this video also if you have any doubts feel free to drop a comment below or you can even join my discord server the link for it will be given in the description box thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and take care